been getting high ever since the accident. This whole time. Even though if you get caught once, you will go to prison. Even after you ruined Matthew's life, probably forever, you still didn't stop using? What the hell is wrong with you? I wanna stop. Every time I get high, I wanna stop. Why didn't you? Cause I can't, I can't, Star. I can't stop. I thought I could, you know? I just, I can't, I can't, I, I, I don't know what to do. I mean, you think, you think I want to take these? You think I want to take these family drug tests and go to prison? I don't want, I don't want that, I don't want any of that. But you know, the truth is, I don't care. I don't care anymore. That's how bad I need to take one of these right now. Why do we have to do this now? Well, there really is no right time to tell your kid you're breaking up. But you just said he's doing better, and I just ordered a pizza. He's happy. He deserves to know the truth. I'm done lying to my son. Maybe this isn't the right thing to do. What are you doing here? Your cell phone's broken, I think. No, it's not. Oh, wow. Well, I guess it's a good thing I checked. What the hell do you want, Todd, huh? <laughs> Why don't you let me in and you'll, you'll find out. You know, I probably shouldn't be saying this about my own uncle, but, um, you look kind of hot. <laughs> well, I can only hope my date agrees with you. So who's the lucky girl? I am. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Mira la dama elegante. Muchas gracias, señor. Yeah, <laughs> he's right. You look fabulous. Thank you. Yeah, you know who else would think so? Your husband. No, you cannot come in. Oh, why not? You seem pretty excited answering the door. <laughs> well, if I'd known it was you, I would have gone out the window. <laughs> oh, wouldn't have been the first time for that. Huh? <laughs> of course, that was when you're my lawyer. <laughs> well, lucky for me, I am no longer on retainer. Oh, uh, that's why I came by. I wanted to tell you the good news that uh, the judge has granted my request for an emergency custody hearing tomorrow. And I, just, I want to make sure you don't miss me getting my kids back. Believe this after all we've been there, after all this time. What do we do now? Stay with me tonight, Jessica. I want to make love with you. I am aware of our court day tomorrow. Is that why you're trying out outfits? <sighs> you know. Lucky for me, because I am no longer your lawyer, I don't have to see you until tomorrow. Thank you very much. You don't want to go over strategy for old time's sake? <sighs> over room service? Talk about how I'm going to mop the floor with you tomorrow? Oh, keep dreaming, Todd. You know, the thing about you and me is we don't always have to talk. I have plans. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> What, are you gonna party by yourself so you can run into me? <laughs> I saved you the trip. <laughs> well, you know, someone really should speak to Renee about the people she allows in her establishment. Well, I was just about to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, witty. Look at you. Ready? I have been ready for a long time, Archie. And you look very handsome. Thank you. Thank you. It has been uh, such an awful day. It's about to get better. Yeah, well, okay, you two kids have fun. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you trying to get rid of us? Who, me? <laughs> hey. Oh. Oh, uh, Marco's here to study. 
Yep, finals. Yeah, they're gonna be brutal. So, um, have fun. Make sure you get an A. Oh, we will. Night. This is not what I wanted. Why'd you ask for it? Rex. It was not supposed to be this way. Are you saying it was a mistake that we shouldn't be breaking up? Hi, Gigi. How's Shane doing? Uh, he's much better. Oh, uh, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's great. Um, thank you so much. Don't thank me. I've seen you in the chapel. God must have heard your prayers. Yes, he did. Gigi, can we? Uh, you're right, Rex. We should uh, go in there and tell Shane we're through. I haven't been with anyone since Nash, and I, I guess I'm a little nervous. <sighs> Not as much as I am. You're nervous to be with me. When I, when I first got back from Iraq, I'd go out every night, I'd get wasted, get into fights. And I slept with a lot of women. Most of the time, I didn't even know their names because they didn't mean anything to me. I don't know what you want me to say. You mean the world to me. So hell yes, I'm nervous. <laughs> but you... Want you? I want you. But only if it feels right to you. I know you, Cole. You care about whether you mess up your life. You care about going to prison. You don't get it. First time I took one of those pills, it's like I got an element of my body that was missing before. They're stronger than me. No, they're not stronger than you. If they were, you would have taken one of them by now. Killing me not to take one right now. Well, your last drug test was clean. That is because I conned my best friend. What, what do you mean? I lied to Marco so that he would take my drug test for me. You what? See? That's, that's what these pills do. Star, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter why I hurt. I let Matthew get in that car with me. Now he's never going to walk again. He's never going to walk again because of me. <laughs> and what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, just take another pill. Oh, you were, you were hurting. Every time. I put one of those pills in my mouth. I was spitting on Matthew. I was spitting on Matthew. I was spitting on, on Marco and Nora and you. Yeah, you. You were right to run out on me. All I do is hurt people. Hope. You should go. You should go to Mr. J. If that's, if that's what you really want. If that's what you really want, I get it. I get it. Star, look at me. I'm not worth it. No. I'm not leaving you.